we are currently in the process of making dinner, right? Yeah. And we are making yeah, our I'm doing that. Yes, we are making our creamy sausage and spinach penne. But I like to do a low carb version of that, and the way I do that is I serve the way my. I do this is the thing when I do. Oh, good. But the way I do that is I serve it on top of some spaghetti squash. So I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how we make our spaghetti squash. It's yeah. super simple. Yeah. All right, let mommy grab this fork here because we're gonna need that too. Bye. Okay, so the first thing you do is you have a spaghetti squash. It comes like this, okay? And you cut it in half. And as you can see, I already poured out the inside of this one. So all you do is you take a spoon and you scrape out all the can seeds. Can I do one? You can help mommy, give me one second. It gets a little messy. Do you know who used to love eating these seeds? No. Hamilton. Yes, we used to have a mini pig that lived here, but we had to rehome him, unfortunately, because he didn't exactly like that mommy had a baby. Yeah. He was not really nice to you. Yeah, he was. He was a good eater, though. He loved to eat mommy's food. Do you know that? But he's a pig, so he ate everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're gonna scrape this out and then you're gonna do the final scraping for me. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. Well, you do I do because you're really good now? at that. Yep, you're really good at that part. Is it right here? Okay, you scrape out. Okay, and then once we have that done, I have a prepared baking pan here. Our oven is preheating to 400 degrees. Okay, very good job. I think we're done. Okay, so now what we do is we take olive oil, and mommy is going to just drizzle this. Oh, what a good helper. Yeah, we it. drizzle that all over, and then do you know what we do? What? We take our fingers like this, and we massage it into the spaghetti squash. Is that music? Yes, I do. My big helper. <laughs> it's messy, right? Okay, and you get that all <laughs> massaged in there. You do the inside, make sure it's all yeah. coated, and then the outside as well. That's why we're plumbing the paper towel. Here. I'm Wait. not done yet. Oh, I think you're done. I think you're just playing now. Okay, next step. Wow. Clean off those fingers. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't get it on your dress. Why? Because oil stains, and then mommy has to do some like voodoo to get it out. You know? What's voodoo? Oh, it's some cool stuff. All right, so listen. Then what we do is we take this, and we just lightly salt it. You don't want to over salt any type of squash when you're cooking it because salt brings out the the um, liquids in it, and it'll make it a lot mushier than you really want it. Oh, thank you. Then we're gonna do some fresh pepper. I don't wanna do pepper. You don't wanna do pepper? Okay, then we flip it over like you this. Do. Do okay, um. and then we take a fork, and this is what we needed the fork for, and you just poke holes. Can I do one? In this. This is really hard to do, and I don't want you to hurt yourself, so Mommy's going to do this part. Okay. We just poke holes all the way down the center of the back of this. See, is that one really hard? Yeah, you see how hard it is to poke that in there? But this is what's going to release Where is this? the moisture. Put it in. Okay. And then it's ready to go in the oven. So. If you like a spaghetti squash that still has a bit of a bite to it, you're gonna want to cook this, or, or I'm sorry, bake it in the oven for yes. like 30 to 40 minutes. I really like my squash to be real tender, so I usually do 50 to 60 minutes. But that's it, so we're gonna get this in the oven, and then we'll be back to show you how we, how we scrape it out and get it prepared to serve in our dish. 
All right, guys, so we are back and our spaghetti squash has now baked for about 60 minutes in the oven at 400 degrees. So as you can see, it has this nice brown coating on the outside. It's roasted very well. So what we're gonna do is just flip it over and all you do is take a fork and you just start to shred the inside. Yeah, I do yeah go ahead. Show them how easy it is. Here, mommy will hold it and you shred it. Very good. Why is it so gooey? <laughs> do you see how it looks like spaghetti? Does that look like spaghetti? Yeah. So cool, right? Why do you need a spin on it? It does. And then that's it, guys. I like to serve this with, um, as I said, my creamy Ew, sausage and like spinach. Noodles, guys. Yeah. Um, I also like to have spaghetti on top of it or a nice bolognese sauce. But you can get really, real. okay, all right, I think we're good. You can get very creative. Yeah. Or you could just serve it as a side dish with some Parmesan cheese and some salt and pepper on it. It's super delicious. So that's it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe below so you gain access to all of our future videos.